joined by a member of the House Appropriations Committee and Subcommittee on Defense, Congresswoman Sherry Bustos, a Democrat from Illinois, joining us in studio. It's good to see you. Good morning, Adrian. Again, good morning. Uh, so you see these stats on homicides being on the rise. Uh, you are the wife of a local sheriff here in the state of Illinois. So what do you think needs to be done to address crime? Well, we, it has to be a concerted effort. It has to be at the local, state, and federal level. There has to be resources. Um, but if I can throw out one example of a community in the congressional district I represent, Rockford, Illinois, which is just west of where we are right now here in Chicago. It's one of the larger cities in downstate Illinois, meaning outside of the Chicagoland area. Uh, there's a mayor there named uh, Tom McNamara. And he and his council have made a decision to approach crime at the base level. Meaning, why are kids getting in trouble? Why are kids uh, committing crimes? And so what they've done is they've created something called the Family Peace Center that addresses crime at the youngest level possible. So um, what they've discovered through the research is that a lot of kids are committing crimes, um, kids who come from domestic uh, homes involving domestic violence. Mm -hmm. And so they've created this peace center where they brought together law enforcement, mental health providers, um, social workers, after school programs, all of that together. We've helped fund that through the federal government, so we've worked in concert. But I think those are the kind of programs we have to look at nationwide, helping kids at the youngest level so they don't grow up and feel like they, they don't have any options other than to, uh, to commit crimes to get by. I know that you keep in touch with your uh, constituents in your community. You host a sec supermarket Saturdays, right, where you just walk the aisles of grocery stores yeah. and talk to people and you job shadow. Uh, with people of different mm -hmm. industry. Uh, but there are a lot of people who have criticized community policing efforts and what needs to be done. Uh, there's another uh, question that we've been talking about on the show this morning, which is, should all policing agencies and departments have to report to this new system that the FBI is using to track national crime data? What do you think? Well, I think we need to, you, you can't measure what you don't uh, know. And so I think to have a national reporting database is, is important. It, when, when we look at the uh, George Floyd murder, part of what came out of that is you learn that there, uh, bad police officers sometimes will go from one department to another department to another department. The, so, so part of that talk was let's make sure we have a national database of police officers who, are, who have not done well, who have... Um, who have gotten in trouble, so so they don't job hop, and and I think crime is the same thing. We've got to keep track of of uh, crime data in a in a concerted effort and and make sure that we can do something. But about a it. lot of Democrats, uh, since that case that you're speaking about, after you know hailing defund the police, it's really been more of a cry of refunding the police. Uh, just recent legislation uh, passed among Democrats, so it's been a big debate. How can your party? How can Democrats be united? Uh, not just across the aisle in bipartisanship, but uh, again, with this singular focus in helping to make better policing possible for the communities they serve. Well, the, defund the police was a, a very unfortunate three-word phrase that um, I wish had never come out. And certainly it's not, as, as the wife of the sheriff of Rock Island County, Illinois, certainly something that I did not believe in. And, and the vast majority of Democrats did not believe that either. In fact, just last week, we voted on four different bills that take a look at things like making sure that police officers can be trained to the best, the, the, so they're great police officer, officers, making sure that mental health is a component of how uh, police officers respond to calls. Um, and making sure that smaller police departments have ways that they can grow their ranks. They're having a very hard time recruiting right now and training. And so we just voted on four different uh, bills last week that involve funding police, not defunding police. Right. I know that that is big news and uh, the conversation will continue. I know uh, tonight will be the first debate in the Illinois governor's race as well. Uh, you're going to be watching that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Right. Really closely. Thank you so much, Congressman, Thanks, for Adrian. being in, in studio with us as well. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.